drawing is a skill. Yet some people, somehow, is just born with a certain criteria required to be good at art instantly. Yet the weird thing is those talented people don't really know why they're good at drawing. And some of us have to work hard to understand drawing, to practice drawing, to be good. And in this video, you will learn the absolute bottom of the reason why you can draw and you will instantly improve your art massively by the end of this video. Let's get to it. First, you need to understand what drawing really is. It is just putting things you see onto a paper. You see something, boom, put it into a paper or any 2D flat screen. So you just need to see at things and project it into paper. But the problem is that you people are blind. You can't see. I don't like the word see. I like the word perceive. Here is a fun fact. Young children who can draw really good most likely are a very intelligent individual. That's a gift right there. Talent. So, if you are an intelligent children, you'd be most likely to be good at perceiving. Drawing is basically just perceiving things and putting it into paper. There is a difference between drawing as a test of intelligence, which is perceptions, and drawing as a technical skill. This is two very different aspects of drawing. So these kids who are seemingly talented at drawing, they are not good at drawing. They are good at perceiving. The ability to perceive is something these kids are naturally gifted at. So if you're not good at drawing perception, you're most likely not smart. But fear not, because being better at drawing will make you more intelligent. Like, I'm not even joking. But drawing is not just drawing, it is perceiving. So how do you get better at perceiving? You always hear people say, draw what you see, not what you think you see. Here's what you should do. Look at your surrounding. Imagine you have a crosshair in the middle of your eyes. Now, you have an angle to gauge the angle of the door frame. Is it aligned with the triangle? No? then that door frame, the door angle, is more than 90 degrees. It's like this. So when you are told to draw a door, you will draw it like this. But now that you have increased your perception ability, you understand that this specific door and this specific part of the door is more than 90 degrees. So you make this line more than 90 degrees. Look at this square. We want to be able to draw this square perfectly proportionate, meaning not longer or shorter. But how do we do that? We don't measure with pencil. We don't trace. We don't measure with ruler. No, let's say we start at this corner. You put a dot. Now we are confused about how long this side is supposed to be and how short this side is supposed to be. You just need to make an imaginary line from this corner to this corner like this. So now you have a gauge of how far the other corner is. Make another imaginary lines and now you have another point of reference to the other corner. Congratulations. You can now make the square exactly proportion. Just make another line making up a triangle and that's basically what it is. Measuring using triangles. Try it on actual photos and subjects. My arm for example. We don't even do construction buck method. Remember the two aspects of drawing is perception and the drawing itself. This construction box of drawing a hand is the drawing as a technical skill. Meanwhile, this trigon trigonometry is drawing as an ability of perception. You know, I don't, I'm not even going to explain it. Just look at how I make lines to measure angles and proportion. Now you seriously just leveled up in terms of perspicacity, perceptions, observations, intelligence. Like, like you become smarter here. Number three, have empathy. What is this, Russ? Hear me out. We are training your ability to perceive. This is a fundamental truth that being empathetic requires you to be perceptive of your surrounding. You need to be able to understand what other people needs and wants. And in turn, you increase your ability to perceive to draw better. Duh. We live in a society, of course, with people. So why not take that advantage to train your ability to perceive? This is how. First, have good intention. No matter where you are, having good intention would ensure that your action is good for other people and yourself. Though, not always. You are trying to provide value for them. Granted, you are also training your ability to perceive. Ask yourself, I think they would appreciate it if I... I think they would appreciate it if I greet them if I shake their hands. Like this video, for example. I have an intention of providing value to you, the one watching, in hopes you learn something that changes your life, entertain you at the same time, and not waste your time further. I could be wrong and you don't learn things, but I could also be right and you'd be glad to watch this video. You as an artist have a duty 
to perceive what other wants and needs and create art around it. But sometimes people do want you to create art that express yourself artistically. So the truth can be confusing and it's changing. But as long as you have an intention of providing value to others, things will be fine. My name is Raz. Like if you like this video. Dislike if you dislike it. Bye.